Hello everyone, welcome to Skills Build Training YouTube channel. My name is Mohammed Zubair and this channel is all about showing you how to become an IT pro really fast. So in today's video, we'll have our first look to Microsoft Server 2022 and we'll see how to download and install it on our system. Microsoft Windows Server 2022 was released on 2nd of March 2021. If we talk about the build or base of it, it is based on the 2019 Windows Server and it is the fastest Windows Server ever as claimed by the Microsoft. In terms of changes which have been made in this version of Windows Server, it has multi-layered security, new container features, large-scale application support and Azure hybrid features. We'll see some of these features once we install our Windows Server 2022. To download the Microsoft Windows Server, go to this link which is open in front of you. I'll put this link in the description as well. And here you can see that it is giving me the option to download it from here. In case if you do not see this when you open this link, it might be because you did not have sign up here. So just sign in or sign up and Microsoft will allow you to download the Windows Server. Here we have different build available to us. We can download any of them as per our need. So if I click on it, you can see that I have ISO version, I have VHDX version and at the last I have Windows Server language and optional feature review but it will have limited functionality. So for now, I'm going for the ISO file. I'll select it. After that, I'll click on confirm. Now it will process the request. And after that, it will ask me about my language. So for now, I'm going with English. I'll select it. And again, I'll click on confirm. So after processing, it is giving me the button to download Windows Server 2022. Now, I'll click on it and my file will get start to download. This file is about 4.36 gigabytes in size. I have already downloaded it. So here comes the installation part. To install it, we are going to use Hyper-V. So for that purpose, first of all, we have to enable the Hyper-V into our system. So we will write turn windows feature on and off into the search area or search bar of our windows. So I'll click here and I'll write turn windows. So as you can see there, I was not finished writing here, but it is showing me the IntelliSense here. So I'll just click on it and a new window will open something like this. So from here, look for Hyper-V and here it is. In my case, it is already being checked. Make sure you also check its subcategories like these. So I have already checked it. In case if you do not have checked Hyper-V, just check it and after that click on OK. When you will do it for the first time, it will ask you to restart your system. After restarting the system, write Hyper-V in the search bar of your window like Hyper and here it is. Now we need to open it, but we will open it as an administrator. To do that, right click on it and click on run as administrator. Our Hyper-V manager has started working. So at the moment, there is no virtual machine which is present or available in our Hyper-V manager. As it says, no virtual machines were found on this server. So now, we will make a new virtual machine here for our Windows Server. For that purpose, click on Action. So from here, come down to New and from here, click on Virtual Machine. So what it will do, it will create a virtual environment for our Windows Server. So now from here, just click on Next and here we will name our virtual machine. So in our case, I'm going to name it Windows Server. 2022. After that, I have the option to store my virtual machine in different location. By default, this virtual machine will be stored in my C directory, but I can change this directory as well. 
after I check this checkbox. Now I just have to browse to the location where I want to have my virtual machine stored. For the moment, I want to have my default directory or my default location for my virtual machine. After that, click on next. And again, we will click on next. And here it is asking for the startup memory. Basically, it is asking for the RAM of your system. I'm going to give it 2048 MBs. And after that, I'll click on next. Again, I'll click on next. And here it is asking for the size. Now it is asking for the hard disk memory. The maximum of size we can assign to our virtual machine here is 64 TB. But I'm going to give this 60 GB. After that, click on next. And here we have to import our downloaded file to get installed in our virtual machine. So for that purpose, I'll click on install an operating system from a bootable CD DVD ROM. And after that, I'll click on image file because if you remember when we downloaded our file, it was an ISO file. So I'll click on it. And from here, I'll browse for my file. So here is my file. I'll double click on it and now I'm going to click on next. So now I'll click on finish. So now it has created a virtual machine in our Hyper-V manager. So as you can see that at the moment state is off. It's time to install the Windows server in our virtual machine. For that purpose, I'll right click here and from here I'll click on connect. What it will do, it will open a new window for me and from here I'll click on start. And now it will start the process of installing the virtual machine as you can say that it has connected to the server file and it is loading file now and now it has started the process and here you can see that it says microsoft server operating system setup so we are going in the right direction so from here you can click on next or you can change the languages as per your need but i'm going to leave it as it is and i'm going to click on next now i'll click on install now button our setup is starting now so here it is asking about the product key. We do not have the product key. So do not worry about this and just click on I don't have a product key and it will move further. So now here we have different options to select from for our operating systems. We have standard, we have standard desktop experience, we have data center and we have data center desktop experience. I'm going with standard desktop experience and this version I'll have most of the features with GUI support. After that, I'll click on next. We'll wait for it. And now we will accept the license agreement and we will again click on next. Now here we have two options. One is we can update and second is custom. In custom, we will install our server from zero. So obviously we are doing it for the first time. So I'll click on second option and from here I'll click on next. So now as you can see that it has starting the process of installation. So I'll pause the video here and I will get back to you after it's done. We are done with the initial installation. So now let me maximize my window here and here I have my name as administrator which is by default and down here I'll set my password here. One thing which needs to be taken care of here and that is it will not accept a simple password here. So your password should be a mixture of alphabets, numeric and special characters etc. After that click on finish and now after finalizing the settings it will start our system. So now just click on connect. And here it will ask for the password here. So we'll wait for it. And here it is. Our server has been installed successfully. So now we will write our password here. And just hit enter. So here it is. We are done with installation. So now let's check the status of our Windows server where it got installed or not or what its version. So we will press Windows plus R key and in here we will write win ver w i n v e r and after that hit enter and here it says windows server 2022 
and here it's operating system build version and down here we have its evolution copy with the time of expiration so here is our server manager which is working very fine so we have our servers here like local server and we have list of all the servers here and we have file and storage services here so let's open our start menu and check if there is any change in the new version of windows server so just click here and here is our start menu so in case of menus they are almost same as the previous version which was 2019 but there is a small change in terms of icons here means the icons are more brighter and more colorful here now let's get back to server manager here and in here if we go into tools here we have microsoft azure services as we discussed in the start of the video that in this version it has the support for microsoft azure services if i click on it what it will do it will take me to the portal of microsoft azure services along with that we also have the option to connect the servers to the cloud services directly from here so what it will do again here if i click on it it will take me to the cloud services portal now let's see some of the security features of the windows server 2022 for that purpose i'll click on my start button and from here i'll click on settings and from settings i'll click on update and security so now these are all the things related to my security but i'll go into my windows security and here i have these areas which are protected in this server one is virus and threat protection we have firewall protection we have app browser control and we have device security as well my areas which needed protections are protected at the moment if i click on apps and browser control here here i have further two more options if i click on reputation based protection and as you can see that it is on means what it will do it will check every app whether it is trustworthy or not so in microsoft server 2022 it is very concerned with the security feature and if i go back here down here i have exploit protection settings if i click on it so now i have more options more settings related to my protection so here it says cfg which was originated in the previous version which was 2019 so in this version they have left it on by default which is a very good thing what it will do it will check the flow of apps and communication into the system and it will give the protection against them so down here we have different other options which are related to different other functionalities of the system and here if i click on program setting let me maximize this window and here it says we have different exe files which are running in the system related to protection so if i click on any one of them from here i can edit them or i can remove them so yeah there are a lot of security features which are available now in windows server 2022 so that's it in this video i have shown you how to download windows server 2022 and then how to enable hyper-v and at the end i have also shown you how to install windows server 2022 and after the installation we also saw some of security features of the windows server i hope you liked this video please leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel as this channel is all about showing you how to become an it pro really fast see you in another video